So there's many ways you can get rich. As I said, a very popular one today is work hard, cut up your credit card, save money, live frugally. That's not my choice. That's a very middle-class choice. It's not the way I want to I live. Another way you can get very rich is you can marry somebody for their money. And that's a very popular sport, but many people do marry for money, both men and women. In fact, I do know a lot of people, they won't never admit this, but they wouldn't marry somebody who was not making a lot of money. And that's, money is a factor in relationships, too, because it affects your health, your kids' education, affects where you live and all this. So money does affect that. So marrying for money is a very popular sport also. Another way you can get rich is by being a crook. You can get rich by being a crook. The problem is you're still a crook. As my rich dad said to me, it's easier to make a lot of money out of jail than in jail. So I don't recommend that process also. And the other way to be rich is by being generous and being smart. And that's what this program is designed to impart to you, is that you can be rich by being a generous person and being financially intelligent. See, the point here is this. If you look at an income statement and balance sheet, you will see that with every dollar that comes into your hand, you have the choice. It is in your power. If you go and buy another long-term liability, then your middle-class person will work harder and harder going further in debt. If you just blow the money, like go and buy a new shirt or a new stereo or something, then you're acting like a poor person. Money just goes right out the expense column. But if you're smart and you use that dollar to acquire an asset, either a business, some real estate, or some paper assets such as bonds, mutual funds, things like this, you're becoming a rich person. The point I want to make here is this. The choice is in your hands every single day. Every morning I get up and I make that decision. Every morning you get up and you make that decision. Every day if you get up, so I'm just going to work hard and I'm going to spend all my money. You're thinking like a poor person. If you get up and you say, oh boy, today is payday. I'm going to go out and go shopping, put some things on my credit card, maybe buy a bigger house. Then you're thinking like a middle class person. But if you get up and you say, this dollar is very important because I worked hard for it and I'm going to make sure I keep it. See, my rich dad said financial intelligence is not so much how much money you make, but how much money you keep, how hard that money works for you, and for how many generations you pass it on to. Then you're thinking like a rich person. So the point I make here is this. Every morning I get up, I still need to make that choice. It's not been an easy choice, but I still need to make that choice.